Listen to that bloody rain, man. That is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. In the car, it is Saturday. Saturday morning. I do love a Saturday morning session. Well, those type of sessions, those days are behind us. Well, not behind us, but we don't do it often anymore. Anyway, in the car, as I said, the car is a bit of a mess, man. I've got monsters, I've got fucking coffee cups. I really need to sort my shit out. Today, we have got upper again. I think every session or every video you see, I've got a fucking upper body day. Do them three times a week. I think I do an upper session on a Monday, a Thursday, and a Saturday. So today's pre, we've got, I don't know what this is. It is a non stim. So we're going to mix the non stim with a monster. And then we're also going to have two wee kind of rice cakes. I had my protein oats this morning. I don't know if you've seen, if you've not watched the last video, the protein oats video. It is fucking good. It is a good tasting bowl of oats. Um, probably some of the best oats I've ever had in my life. That's not a biased review. Um, so yeah, this non stim will give me a good pump. I think it's got citrine, citrulline mallet in it. It's got some other shit in it. Kind of monster. That will give me a good pump. Let's go. That rain is fucking shit. Heady ones part, you want to hear it? Alright. Never disappoints. Ever. Listen to it. You're welcome. Back from the gym. Feeling good man, that was a nice, a nice session for a while there. Body weight wasn't jumping up too much. I'm in the frame. Body weight wasn't jumping up too much, so that kind of meant that strength wasn't going like vup. Uh, wasn't going up a lot, a lot. Getting reps and stuff here, but there wasn't massive increments in, in load on the bar. Um, so, we update on the bulking time. Um, since that photo shoot got wrapped up, the lowest weigh in of the photo shoot was uh, 192 pounds, 193. That was the lowest weigh in of the shoot prep. On the day of the shoot, after we carved up, I was 196 pounds. As of this morning, I was 206 on the dot. That's just after my food's been incremented. Um, so not all that will be muscle, of course. Most of that's been water and glycogen. I'll have either thrown in a physique update there, or there'll be one in the video. But I'm feeling good, feeling a lot fuller. The basically the the goal for right now is a chest chest and delt specialisation block. So we've basically been hammering volume across delts and chest. Um, honestly, I already feel like it's paying off. Like I already feel just so much fuller, so much fuller just across everything up here, which feels nice. So still feeling pretty lean, feeling lean at 206, which is around 90. Three and a half bit kilo. So I reckon we'll get up to 100 kilo in the next four or five months. No bother at all. And yeah, the goal is just to get big. The goal is to get massive. Thinking about start a series. Don't know what to call it. Bulking diaries, the gaming diaries, the off season diaries, road to 110 kilo. I don't fucking know. So if anyone can think of any ideas, let me know. Back in the gaff, got another meal. This is my off plan meal. Can on, it's not off plan. This is just a beef and rice meal with veg, which I'm going to tan now. And we're having an off plan meal tonight. What we're going to have? I'm going to have sourdough based pizza, <coughs> ice cream, and sweet potato fries. Maybe we'll see. Go to the shop. Once you're in the shop and you see all this shit there, you just end up getting shit you don't actually need. But how to plan an off plan meal? What you essentially want to do is don't overcomplicate it. Some people will have an off plan meal. They're like, right, cool. I need to do more steps, I need to do more cardio, I need to do more this, this and that. If you're bulking up, you are allowed to have a cheat meal, you're allowed to eat out with your calories at least once a week, alright? If you're doing that three, four times a week, out with your calories, probably not ideal. You're probably going to gain a bit too much fat too quickly. Uh, but right now, I have five meals a day. All I'm doing is I'm replacing one of those meals with whatever the fuck I want because I eat well during the week, I work hard in the gym and I deserve that shit. That's not to say during the week I don't enjoy things, I'll suddenly swap out a meal and let it fit within my macros a bit more. So say I wanted like a Subway, that's not my off plan because it will fit within my calories but I'll maybe do that once or twice midweek if needed, if I'm out on the go and I don't have time to make my meal. But tonight we're going all out, we're going to go over the calories, I'm not going to do extra steps, extra cardio, I'll probably wake up a pound heavier tomorrow, does that mean I've gained a pound of fat? No, it just means I've got a lot more glycogen and water 
sitting in my stomach. All right, so that is gonna be the off-plan meal that we have. I will show you when it is there. Nothing special, nothing like a Domino's or this, this and that. You don't need to go overboard every week and have something mental, like 6,000 calories. Just have something normal. For me, it's gonna be a store-bought pizza with some oven chips and a ton of ice cream, probably. Maybe something else, but we'll see. See you in the next clip. Yes, boys, it's fucking go. Every time I come in here and get an off-plan meal, I'm just fucking go mental. This sweet area. Boom. Don't know who that lighting is, but it is the morning after that half plan meal. What I've got today is, is a rest day from the gym, so I'm going to do my cardio. The half plan meal was really nice last night, and the pizza, the sweet potato fries. I also had a tub of ice cream, the low calorie ice cream. Still had a tub of it though, and I think that was it. I don't have anything, I didn't have anything else, maybe a biscuit. There was a biscuit in the cupboard, so I had a biscuit. And that was it. I've woke up one pound, one pound heavier. It's not that much. Nice, cardio time, let's go. We are breaking the fast. This is too good not to film. Sourdough, we do sourdough in the Sundays. Look at that bit of egg. Oh, that is what we're talking about. Call me Gordon Ramsay. If Gordon Ramsay liked the blander, tasting food, but that is the stuff there. See, food doesn't need to be boring. Sourdough, cream cheese, bacon medallions, bit of mozzarella, nice bit of fried egg. That is what we are after. Cool, so topic of the video is how to lean bulk, how to actually set up a lean gaining phase, all right? So first things first, if you want to start a lean bulk, the easiest thing is your starting position. You need to actually start in a lean state, okay? You can't really call it a lean bulk if you're not, if you're not lean, all right? That's pretty self-explanatory. Get yourself lean first, and you can have a nice lean gaining phase, okay? So I would recommend dieting down. Get yourself to a pretty good level of leanness, having some pretty good, clear, visible abs, and a couple of veins here and there. You don't need to be shredded, but the leaner you start a bulk, the more runway you have to spend in that bulk, if that makes sense. So if you start in a higher body fat, you might only be able to push up for three, four months before you're too fat. And then when you're too fat, your body's not gonna utilize uh, glucose, you're gonna be sluggish, you're gonna have maybe had an appetite plateau. Um, there's my cat. So, Get lean first, okay? The leaner you are, the more responsive you are to that initial push-up and you can spend a prolonged period of time gaining because you're that lean. It's gonna take a while for you to look fat, essentially, okay? Um, that's something I've now personally done. When I started my last bulk, I'll put a picture. This is how I looked when I started my first bulk, okay? I wasn't that lean. And this is how I look starting my next bulk. So I'm now gonna have a prolonged period of time. My cat's just jumped on my bed. I clean the hair every fucking time it comes on. Can you see him? He's too cute. I'll let him stay. As I was saying, so now that you've started, hopefully in a lean position, this begs the next question, okay? So, take your time. Don't rush to gain weight. We all want to be massive. We all want to gain muscle quickly. We all want to get there tomorrow. We all want to have it achieved like that. But if you're approaching it and you're going too quick, i.e. you're pushing food up too quick, you're trying to gain too much weight too quickly, guess what? You're going to have that off-season and that gaining phase ended rather quickly as well because you're going to accumulate too much body fat. So, rate of gain, I would aim to gain around a pound a week. For most people, starting in a lean state is quite fucking good. So, between 1 to 1.5 pounds. I know some people that can gain on the upper end of that and they still look good, they still look lean. Everyone's going to put on that weight differently, okay? So have a nice, slow, steady approach. If you gain that pound a week, you don't need to change anything. You don't need to eat more. Let your body do its thing. If you're not gaining that pound a week, say you gain 0.5 and you don't look bigger, then push that food up a wee bit, all right? Ultimately, if you're not gaining weight, you're not gaining muscle, so we need to be gaining some sort of weight. The next part is going to be your food quality. You are what you eat, all right? I've been there. I was that guy last year when I was bulking up. I used the excuse of, oh, but, but I'm bulking. What do you mean I can't have breaded chicken goujons and cheese and pizza? Listen, we can, a calorie isn't just a calorie. You can fit what you want technically into your calories, but what you eat will dictate how well you perform, how well you recover, how well you manage fatigue. Because if we're getting a really good diet with fruit, veg, good carbohydrate sources, complete proteins, you're going to perform to your best, you're going to progress the most in the gym, you're going to lift the best weight, you're going to look the best, you're going to perform the best, you're going to have the best digestion, you're not going to be bloated throughout the day, 
The biggest thing is when you eat shit, when you eat shit foods, you're going to be constantly bloated, okay? You're going to be constantly watery because of how processed all the food is. So eat good, nutritious foods. 70-80% of clean, whole foods. The other 20-30% of indulging, or not indulging, of having things that you actually enjoy. Don't chase scale weight. As I said, you want to be aiming towards a pound a week roughly, but don't get obsessed with like, I want to get to 100 kilos, I want to get to 100 kilos, and then you start eating shit, eating shit, eating shit, and then before you know it, you are 100 kilos, but the quality of weight that you put on to get there isn't that good. You're just a fat fuck. You're just a fat blob. How do you like that? Hmm? You like being a fat blob? No, you don't. So take your time. Don't rush to get to that certain weight. And then the last thing is output slash expenditure. I think most people that want to endeavour in a lean gaining phase should still have a consistent daily step goal and consistent cardio throughout the week. Because if you do have a day or two where you overeat, which is likely, you're in a gaining phase, you're enjoying that food. Enjoy that spaghetti, boys. You want to fucking enjoy food. Go out with your mum and dad for a meal. Go out with your missus and get something to eat. Go for drinks. We want to keep that in because if you do have a couple of meals here and there of the week where you overeat, then you've got the output to facilitate you burning extra calories, all right? I've also been there where I've had days where I've done no steps, I didn't do cardio, and the weight game was just da 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 right, there was no plateau at all, you want a slight bit of plateau to own the new body weight that you go up to, uh, but keeping some sort of step count means the weight that you gain is going to be consistent, if you're, if you're hitting 10k steps on one day, and then 5, and then 7, and then 3, your body's burning different amounts of calories every day, so your weight fluctuations are up and down, up and down, up and down, okay, keeping some sort of cardio in will also keep composition tight, it will also favour you in a sense of appetite, a lot of people, when they start pushing food up, they can't eat. And if you can't eat, you can't grow, all right? Oh, I can't eat anymore. Oh, I'm starving. I'm full up. Don't be a bitch. You can eat more, okay? And if you have a consistent step count and consistent cardio in, then you're, then you're sweet. I'm not talking anything mental. For me right now, I think I am about eight, between eight and 10,000 steps a day. And on my rest days, I do 30 minutes cardio on the bike or on the cross trainer. And that is just for overall heart health. You don't want to gain 10, 15 kilos in a bulk and then you are as fit as your fucking gran. Not very fit, unless your gran's fit and unreal. Well, that type of fit. You want to be fit with that extra body weight because you're going to be at slow, you're going to be out of breath in your sets. If you're doing, you know, 15, 20 rep set works, your capacity for more work is going to be better if you're doing some sort of cardio, okay? So, those are my top tips for lean bulking. Hopefully, that made sense. Any questions on that shit, you let me know. You drop a comment. If you like the video, you know what to do. Drop a like. Drop a sub, notification bell on, do what that needs to be done. Uh, apart from that, guys, hope that helped. Any questions, drop me a message. I'm going to leave my email in the description box. If you get any questions regarding anything, email me and I'll get back to you with some sort of response. If you send me a retarded question, guess what? You're going to get a retarded response. Simple. Guys, have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend, wherever the fuck you're watching this. Have a good one. Lots of love. And I'll catch up with you in the next video.